Hey everybody, today Rado previews a prototype of the Palaces of Carrara 2nd Edition. But before I get going, please turn your subtitles on to the Klingon channel so that when I make rules goofs, you'll know what they are. And if you've done that, well then welcome to Italy everybody. It's the Renaissance! And we are going to try to beautify six different cities in the Carrara region at the request of the royal family. We're going to do it by spending all kinds of cash to get all kinds of building materials to build all kinds of buildings. I'm going to show you how this works today in a two-player run-through. And I've already got the game set up here as the first player. I start with one blue marble and one purple marble. Um, although, actually, that's wrong. As the first player, I should start with just two purple marble. The weakest. The lousiest. Nobody wants crappy purple marble. Jen, as the second player, gets a slightly better hand with a little bit of that uh, sweet, sweet blue marble. Okay. And we both start with 20 coins to buy more. And uh, that's what we're going to be doing a lot for the first portion of the game. Uh, I can't really build much with only two. Actually, that's not entirely true. I could build this uh, porta, this cathedral, or this villa. Or this palazzo. Or this cathedral. Heck, I'm, I, I'm a big fat liar. I could build half of the buildings that came out randomly. Of course, there's plenty more that will be showing up over the course of the game. And this is the main timer of the game. Once this stack of uh, buildings has run out, the game is probably almost over. Although, in addition to that, players will have had to have scored a bunch of times as well. But that's way off in the future. i got to decide what am I going to do right now. Am I going to go get some more building materials? Or am I going to rush right out? with my two crappy purple marble and start building. Hmm. You know what? I think I'm going to build. I'm going to build. Because the longer I wait to collect resources, the cheaper they get. So, how about we save some cash? I am going to build... Let's see. What do I want to build? Oh, what the heck. Let's start with this villa. So, this costs two building materials which I happen to have as part of setup. So I'm going to spend these, which means they go back to the bag, or in my case, the chicken cup, which has got a whole bunch more marble just waiting to be grabbed. And because I paid with only purple marble, there's only one place in Carrara where I can build this. Lercy, or uh, Larisi, which is the city that um, you can use purple marble on. If um, I had uh, wanted to build in Massa, well, they won't allow any purple. If I wanted to build in pizza, they don't allow any purple or any green or any red. Uh, you know, the further to the left we go, the more snobby they get about their marble. But Larissi, they're happy with anything. So I'm just going to build this villa here. And huzzah, I am on the board. Now, building a building doesn't do anything. I have to invite the royal family out to come and inspect what I've done so that I can start getting rewards. And um, Larissi is not the best place to build because basically I get one coin for every for um, uh, for every level of the building I built. So this is a level two building. So when I eventually show this off, I'll get two coins. I mean, profit is profit, but as you might imagine, it is nicer to be over here in Pisa where you get three coins. So a building built over here would be worth six coins instead of just two. But uh, that's it. I've built. I am done. I'm on the board. All right, a new one comes out. And so one, let's go ahead and put it up there. It's a biblioteca. And it is now Jen's turn. And so uh, Jen... She's going to get some more building materials, I think. Uh, she wants to be a little bit more ambitious with her build. So, the first thing that happens when you are going to go and buy uh, more marble to build with is you have a choice. You can rotate the big wheel. Or you can, which uh, has a side effect of rotating the small wheel. Or you can only rotate the small wheel if you prefer. Now, the main difference uh, between those two things is if you rotate the big wheel, more marble is going to come out of the bag and get added, and um, stuff is going to get cheaper. If you rotate only the small wheel, then new marble doesn't get added to the market, but the uh, layout for the statues does. So, Jen wants things to be cheaper. No choice about it. So, she'll go ahead and rotate the big wheel. But there will definitely be times when you don't want to do that because rotating won't make things much cheaper for you, but they will make things things much cheaper for your opponent. So that's something to bear in mind. So Jen is going to rotate. And now whenever you rotate the big wheel, you have to, afterwards have to fill up to where there are 11 um, uh, pieces of marble in the market. So we've, And the new ones always show up here in the most expensive place. So there's already six. One of each color is part of setup. There's going to be five more. One, two, three, four, five. 
Okay, and so they all show up here. Some white, some green, and some yellow. And now Jen can start shopping. But she can only pick one of these areas. So she could buy from this area where everything's most expensive, or she could come over here. And now, one thing I should point out, you will notice over here, purple marble cost one. Over here, there's no inst it doesn't say how much purple marble costs. That means it's free. And I don't think the rules say this, but Jen and I like to basically, whenever something is free, we just kind of stand them up on end so we can at a glance see um, you know, where, the, where the good deals are. So Jen could come over here and you know, pay five for each of these yellows, six for each of these white, um, three for each of these greens, or she could come over here. Well, right off the bat, she'll get something for free and she can buy some more stuff. So I think that's what she is going to do. She will get the purple free. So now she's got three bricks, but she's not done buying. I mean, we started with 20. Jen's got plenty of cash. So I think she'll spend two and get another blue. And uh, let's see here. She'll go on ahead and spend... Uh, she'll, buy, she'll buy... She's getting the cheapest stuff she can. She'll get a red and a yellow as well. So that's seven. So there she goes. And she's pretty much blown through half of her starting capital. But the more colors you have of building materials, the more flexibility you have where you want to build. And if at all possible, you want to build in the more lucrative areas instead of the less lucrative areas. Okay, so that was Jen's turn. It is my turn. And you, now you can see why I wanted to wait. Because now, if I'm going to buy something, and I've got to because I can't build anything anymore, well, I'll rotate the big wheel. And everything just got cheaper. And let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So four things come out. Jen bought four things. Four new things get added to the market. One, two, three, four. A lot more green and yellow showing up. All right. And meanwhile, over here, well, nothing's free here. And um, nothing's free here. So, okay. Here I go. I would like to start buying some stuff. And I think it's a no-brainer. I'm going to come over to this neck of the woods. It's only going to cost me one. Now, if, if I waited one more, if the green made it here, it would have been free. This is going to cost me one. A plus four is five. So there goes five bucks. But here's something very cool. Whenever you buy the last element in, a, uh, in an area, you get a bonus. You can either get the decoration tile that's stated. In this case, I could get one of these book decorations. Or you can get the statue, which uh, would be one of these. And now I should say, I've got a prototype here, folks. This prototype is actually a combination of new stuff plus the board from the original. So the game is going to be a bit different, the way the layout works and all that. And these are not these statues are not going to be cubes. They're actually going to be cool statue, statue meeples. If you want to know more about what the final game looks like, hit that eye in the top right corner screen. Go check out the Kickstarter page. But anyway, because I've emptied an area out, I can get a decoration or I could get a statue. Now, if you look at the villa I built, it wants a decoration, but it wants this shield one. So if I go on ahead and get one of these books, I can't place it. If you put a decoration on a building that you've already built, it increases in value. It go, Basically, in this case, it would go from a 2 to a 3. So it would be worth an extra coin when I eventually score it. Um, so, I, But I can't put this here. If you do get a decoration that you can't place, you've got two warehouses. So you can hold up to two decorations or statues for later. So I could go for that. And eventually, if I build this biblioteca or this biblioteca or this biblioteca, as you might imagine, those would be good plays for decorative books. Um, a bit more than somebody's house. House, apparently you want some home defense. You want some shielding for the villas. So am I going to get this with the intent of building one of these bibliotecas later, or am I going to get a purple statue? Now, a purple statue um, can pretty much go on any building. So I could, I mean, I could store it for later, or I could go on ahead and place it. And what the heck, let's go for that. So my villa now has a beautiful purple statue in the purple town. What do you know? Um, right. And that is the only place this purple statue could have gone. Again, they're very snobby in Masa. They don't want to see any purple. They're even snobby over here in Pisa. They only want to see white and yellow. Anyway, though. So I've got a statue. Now, like the building, that statue doesn't do anything for me immediately either. But I will get the opportunity to use my scoring tokens later on to invite the royal family out and inspect the work I've done. Also, there is a, a kind of an area control thing going on because at the end of the game, in each of the six cities, there are bonus points to be had for whoever has the most statues. And currently, I got the most statues in Larici, which means I'm maybe sitting on seven bonus points. We'll see how things evolve. So anyway, so that was my turn. It is now Jen's turn again. She could start building now. 
or she could buy some more stuff, which I think she's going to do. And right now, she just wants to make things a bit cheaper. And uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So two more will come out. Bippity bop. And where is Jen going to go? Now, this is interesting. Um, because, all right, so first of all, all right, okay, yeah. So still, uh, nothing's free, right? Yeah, because there's no purples here. Okay, so she has to pay for everything. And so you might think, oh, she wants to come over here and buy stuff cheaper. But remember, if she can completely clear an area out, she gets the bonus. So there's only two things there. So she could get a crown bonus or she could get a red statue if she buys these. But she'll have to pay a premium. Although the purple, it's cheap. It only costs one. The red costs four. I think that's what Jen's going to do. She's going to let these things continue to depreciate. She's going to spend five coins and come over here to buy a red and a purple. And because she cleared that area out, she can get a red statue or a crown, which will decorate a beautiful palazzo, one of these nice palaces over here. And so I think, I think she will take the crown. Um, and, and, and whether she took a crown or the red statue, as you can see, she had no buildings to install them on. So she's just going to go ahead and store that for later. As soon as she's got a building that will take it, a, a palace, she can immediately place it there for free. All right, so that's her turn. And you know what? She might start building some palaces pretty soon. Um, uh, because one thing to bear in mind, uh, I don't, I haven't shown up here, but everybody's bricks and their marble uh, their, their marble tokens and their money is kept hidden, kept secret behind these very, very cool player screens. So Jen doesn't know exactly how much money I have. She doesn't know exactly how much stuff I've got. So if she wants to build this cheap palazzo that only takes two stones, she might want to get there sooner than later. All right. So anyway, that was her turn. She's got, all, she's got a whole bunch of stuff to build. Meanwhile, I'm over here and I think, yeah, let's go on ahead and uh, build some more. Brrrt. All right, two more things come out. And now I'm in the same spot as Jen. If I just go on ahead and clear this area out with just a, and buy a couple things at full price, I will get a gate, which goes on the Porta. Uh, I, or I could get a yellow statue, but I got to pay top dollar. Five plus four, I'd have to pay nine coins to get two. No, 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 no. That's too rich for my blood. Uh, because way over here, things are getting cheaper. This green... It crossed the line. It used to cost one. Now it costs nothing. So I think I'm going to go shopping in this neck of the wood. I will get one green for free. So now I've got two green. I could build a size two building in uh, Via Regio. Via Regio. All right, but I'm not done buying. Uh, yeah, let's. Just, uh, you know what? Let's go on ahead and buy the two yellows for four. They're almost as cheap as they're going to get. So there goes one, two, three, four. I got two yellows. And now the big question. I've still got 11. I can afford it. Do I pay six to get both of those? I think I will. I'm going to pay six. There goes 11. I get five and change. And boom, I have just cleared that out. I've still got five coins. And uh, do I want to take a chalice, which goes to the cathedrals that I build? Or do I want to take a blue statue, which could go in Larishi or Massa? But um, over at Regio, they don't want to hear about no blue stinking marble statues. So... What do I want? Let's see here. There are some cheap cathedrals. Let's go on ahead and... Although, I got to ask myself. There are um, in-game points for set collection on the decorations. The bigger a group of the same type of decoration you get, the more points you get. But hey, if I get a blue statue over here and I've got the majority of statues in Massa and Larici, that's 15 points for coming in first place on both of these. So that's something to consider as well. Let's diversify though. Let's not go to... No, let's go statue crazy. Let's get another statue. Um, I do. I this building's already taken, um, but I will be able to store it over there for a future turn. Now I should say, on your turn, usually you're going to do one of three things: you're going to buy stuff, you're going to build stuff, or you're going to grab one of these tokens and it, which represents the royal family, and you're going to invite them out, and they are going to inspect what you've done to give you big paydays of money and points if you've done your job right. There is a fourth thing you can do, which is, well, I don't like any of my basic options. You can always just pass and make two bucks, which is terrible. You don't want to do that. But in addition to that, uh, every turn, you have a free action you can do as well, which is you can always spend 10 coins to get any color statue.
statue you want or any decoration you want, but you have to be able to place it immediately. If you do that, they cannot go to the warehouse for future. So if you're desperate to get one last little thing so that you can get the majority of uh, red statues in Luca, you can always pay 10 bucks for it. So that's something to bear in mind as well. All this stuff down here is the end of game scoring reminder. How money is worth points at the end of the game. You get your set collection of decorations. You got your majority for statues. By the way, before I go any farther, I should point out, folks, I'm playing the advanced version of the game. If I were playing the basic version, this would flip over. There wouldn't be any of this in-game scoring stuff, uh, except for coins. There also would not be statues or decorations. Those are an element that appears in the main game. And also, there would not be this extra little wheel, and the main wheel wouldn't have all these bonuses. There would not, In the regular game, there is not a bonus for clearing one of the spokes of the wheel out. So this is all the stuff that happens in the advanced game, which is definitely more to Jens and my liking. So that's why I figured I'd show you with everything, all the bells and whistles activated. So anyway, so I got myself a blue statue over there. It is Jen's turn. And like I talked about before, I think Jen, she wants to build sooner or later because she has her eye on that palace. So she's going to build this turn. Now this is going to take two, um, uh, two marble to build and the marble color depends on where she wants to build it. I mean, so with two, she could actually build this in Luca. And uh, Luca is a place where you get points uh, two times the value of your building. So that's a four-pointer right there. Whereas if Jen used her two blues to build over here in Massa, she'd only be getting one points. Or, heck, she could use her purples and build over here and get some money. She does not have the green she needs, though. Um, so she could not build in Veragio, which would actually let her get coins. Okay, you know what? I'm going to interrupt myself here for a second to try to be a little bit more clear. She can build in Veragio. She doesn't need green bricks specifically because you can effectively downgrade your bricks. You can use red or yellow or white bricks to build in the green city. Now, that's being a little bit wasteful because you want to use those more valuable bricks to build in the more valuable cities, but there will come times in this game where you might decide to not get the most use out of them. It's early in the game right now, so I'm trying to be uh, using these bricks with peak efficiency. But if you keep watching, you'll find there are times when you might want to effectively downgrade your bricks a little bit to hit specific spots. Uh, so let's get back to it. If she had one more yellow, though, She's got one yellow. She just needs one more yellow to build in Pisa, where she can make big money. And money's important in this game. So you know what? I think Jen's going to build in Pisa. And you say to yourself, how can she do this? Let me show you. She is going to spend one yellow. She needs one more. Now, um, you may have noticed, I just put a little line of cubes up here. And you're wondering, why are those there? I mean, these were, I just grabbed them from the uh, stack of... Uh, statues. That is to remind me, because I don't have the final version of the game, I've got a prototype. In the final version of the game, right around here on the board, there's going to be a little reminder that you can convert uh, uh, marble, you can upgrade marble. That basically, anytime you want, you can turn two purples into a blue. You can turn two greens into a red. You could turn two reds into a yellow. So, this is just to remind me that uh, Jen's going to turn these two reds into a yellow, and that means she was able to build this level 2 palace in Pisa. All right, and she just has a place to go and decorate it with some um, royal finery right there. So, this is how actually a level 3 building, and when she eventually scores it, and she might score this building several times over the course of the game, it will generate 3 times 3. This will generate 6 bucks for her every time she scores that building. Okay, and then we get a new building coming out. All right, and let's see, it's another one. Let's just go on ahead. So we've got all these cheap ones, and we got more expensive ones. All right, so and it's another palace. Oh, it's a really cheap palace. Jen might want to build another palace really quick. Well, she got she took care of her decoration but anyway. So that was it for her. It is my turn. I'm sitting on a whole bunch of uh, cubes or of white cubes. I could build. I built in the most low rent place. I could build in the most high rent place. Although I do kind of want to build over here in Pisa as well. So what do I want to do? Do I want to start building or do I want to get more cubes? Because, hey, there are much more valuable buildings down here to be built. Uh, these ones have a base value of five because they take five bricks. So maybe I'm just going to go on ahead and keep collecting. So let's go on ahead and slide it on over. I don't have to. Remember, sliding on over makes everything cheaper. But look, I mean, these aren't, I mean, there's only a couple here. I'm not really giving that much to Jen. So I want to make all of this stuff cheaper. Maybe wipe it out. I haven't run the, no, I've only got five. I'm not going to be able to wipe it out. But I'll worry about that in a second. Anyway, so we've got four, five, six. So uh, five things, because we always refill up to 11 whenever the big wheel rotates. 
One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So I'm going to go shopping. And hey, these greens just crossed the line. They are free. So how about I go shopping here? How about I get both of these greens for free? I could start building a very big green building over here in Varigio or Masa or with all that green stuff. Alrighty. So um, yellow costs. So five, I'm going to spend my last five. I am broke. I'm going to grab both of these. Look at all of that I've got. I've got some big building and then some big scoring in my future. But in the meantime, I cleared another area out. So do I want to get one of these shield decorations for a villa or do I want to get a green statue? I'm planning on building some green. I think I'm going to get a green statue. Uh, and now my warehouses are full. I need to get some buildings built because I, you know, I, 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 I can't store anything more. Okay, so that was it for me. It is Jen's turn. I, she's got enough to build, but I think she um, sees a good shopping opportunity. So uh, that's one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Nothing's gotten free yet. No, that's not true. These purples are free now. So now, I mean, Jen was thinking she was going to do that, but so this is going if to clear this out and get a statue or a decoration, she's going to have to pay five. She has six. To clear this out to get a statue or a decoration, uh, she needs uh, three. No, she doesn't have enough. So she couldn't clear that out. But on the flip side, uh, for the remainder of her money, she could get one, two. Uh, what is that? That's uh, seven. Nope, she doesn't have. No, she can't. All right. So she's just going to do stick to her original plan. She's going to clear this out. And she is going to pay five for both of these bricks. And she gets a statue uh, um, or a uh, decoration, I think she'll get a yellow statue. Because just so happens, she's got a lovely palace here in yellow Pisa, and now she's decorated it with a lovely statue. So now Jen has the majority of statues in Pisa, which is worth 11 points at the end of the game. Now we'll see if she holds on to that over the course of the game, because we've got a long ways to go. We've got a lot of buildings to build, but Jen's pretty happy with that, that this is looking very nice indeed. Okay, so that was Jen's turn. My turn. I can't build anymore. I could pass. I could score. But no, before I score, I want to get some more stuff built. I think it is time. It is time to build. And what am I going to build? Oh, I, could, I mean, I, if I have one more green, I could get some of these big dogs, but I don't. There is one level four biblioteca, though. I think I'm going to build that over here in Varigio and spend all four of my green bricks. Or do I want to build it? No, I... I, I I could build over here with all of my white bricks, but that's going to score me points eventually. I want to score... I need to score money right now because I'm broke. So let's put it over here. And there go the four bricks I've got. And it just so happens I've got a green statue just waiting to be installed. Later on, I'd like to put a decoration there too. But anyway, so I have built that. Nice. And now what is Jen going to do? She's got one buck. She can't do much buying, but there's a bunch of free marble right there. I think Jen's going to go shopping again. She'll rotate the big wheel. Does she want to think? Or no, actually, does she want to? I mean, she doesn't know how much money I've got. She knows I must be running low because she's running low. But the thing is, Jen's got one buck. And if she rotates this, the she'll still get these for free. And this red will be two. She won't be able to afford it anyway. So I don't think it makes any sense for her to actually rotate because all it's doing is making stuff cheaper for somebody else. So she's not going to rotate the big wheel. She'll only rotate the little wheel, thereby changing the payout of when you get statues for clearing an area out. And Jen's just going to go here. She's just going to get these because now she's got five purples which means she could build a big old level 5 biblioteca or palace or castillo or castle in Larici. So, uh, Jen's planning on bi building big here. But that's her next turn. It's my turn. And, oh, and then a new tile comes out. And this one costs two, so they can just go right there. And so I've got a, I've got a bunch of yellow and a bunch of white. I can't uh, buy anymore, so I think I want to do some building. And remember, if I want to build a level 5, which I think I do... I'm going to convert two of these yellows into a white. So that means I've got four white plus this. That's five white to build one of these in the most valuable city in the game. Boom. Let's do it. And let's make it a... Uh, let's see. Well, I need to think about uh, you know the decorations I could potentially put on these. I've already got... Okay, so I've already got... I want one book over here. Let's do another biblioteca then because, hey, if I ultimately have two book decorations, that's six points. If I have three book decorations, that's 12 points. So let's go for that. Boom. 
Um, this is I, I cannot put a lowly blue statue in uh, Livorno where they only want white marble, so that'll have to wait. But that's it. I've done. One thing I should mention, by the way, folks, with this uh, converting, you can't chain multiple conversions. I can't turn two purples into a blue that I could then combine with another blue to make a uh, green. When you're doing those conversions, you, the, the, the new brick you make has to go into a building you're doing. Um, it can't go into a subsequent uh, series of chains. So anyway, so I built that. A new thing comes out. And it is, oh, it's a very valuable uh, archway, a port top. All right, Jen's turn. She's going to build big too. Building cheap, but um, let's see, what does she want? She'll put another palace. This is her second palace. So she wants to get some more um, crown decorations. And she spent all of that. She has no statues or decorations. So boom, she's done. Okay, oh, and that's a level two. So let's just go on ahead. There we go. So now we got a lot of cheap buildings and only a few expensive ones. Interesting. Okay, so that was Jen's turn. It is my turn. I could build one more building. I do have this yellow. Because there are several really cheap ones, including a cheap biblioteca. Let's do it. Let's spend a level one biblioteca with the yellow into Pisa. Um, I could build it over here if I wanted. Because Veragio will take. And now that's an interesting thing. I mean, this is the best building to... You know, because this means uh, this will generate three coins for me. Whereas if I build it over here, it only generates two because it's a level one times two instead of three. But there is a consideration to be had here. By the way, I'm definitely spending this. I'm out of bricks. I'm out of money. Um, because there are several different ways, several different things that we can invite the rich nobles to come out and look at. And most of them are listed down here. All the different things we can do. We can have them look at all our bibliotecas. We can have them look at all our villas. We can have them look at all of our country estates, which are the green tiles we've got, or all our urban buildings, which are the orange tiles. That's what these are over here. We can have them look at all the statues in uh, in a pair of cities, in the outer cities, the middle cities, or the inner cities. That's what these are. Um, so, as you might imagine, before you actually do any of these things, you want to have a lot of stuff. Um, because once they've come out and visited something... They can't do it again. So i got to ask myself, do I go this way? And then maybe the first uh, inspection I ask for is uh, you know, the, the one time I can do all of my orange buildings. And I'll activate this and this and this. But do I plan on getting more? In which case, maybe I want to put this over here. And instead, I'll just ask them to visit the city itself. Um, and score all of those, and I could still get more oranges. I won't be able to score that city again. So that's a possibility. Now, there is one problem, though. If I look back up here, if I want them to visit the city instead of all of, my, all of a certain type of building or all of a certain location of building or all of a certain type of statue, if I want them to look at the city, I've got to send them over here. There's a reminder. They won't come out unless I've built at least three buildings in uh, Varigio. I have only built two, if I build this here. So, I can't really take advantage of that. I think I will go the other way. I'll go like this. Okay. Uh, all right, so that was it. I'm done. It is Jen's turn again. Now, she she still got one coin. She could keep buying. Um, I mean, what could she buy? Well, actually, no, if this rotated, it would... I mean, nothing would get down to one. Nothing would get free. Um, but she could rotate... And then show that she, uh, you, if you rotate to make things cheaper, and then you, you can literally sh uh, lift your shield and show how much money you have, you can then get two coins as well, as if you had passed. Uh, but no, I think Jen's going to build a little bit more before she decides to, right, because she could build a level two blue building or a level one or a yellow or a level one red. Oh, whoops, a new building should have come out, by the way. It was a level four. There we go. Put that one over there and put that two there. You don't have to, but we just like keeping them in like your kind of numerical or the cheap stuff and the more expensive stuff. So, hmm. All right, and also, Jen could turn these uh, two blues into one green and build a size one green in Vrigio instead of a size two in Massa if she wanted. So, I think she's going to build. And this is going to be kind of painful. She's going to build a size one. She's going to use one of her blue bricks. She'll make another palace because she's trying to get um, you know, all the places she can put in these decorations because, hey, if she's got one, two, three crowns at the end of the game, that's 12 points. And even though it's blue, so she can build in Masa, she's going to build in Larishi because Larishi will take anything because Jen is trying to set herself up because once she has three buildings in Larishi, she could score that city and no one else will be able to do it. It doesn't pay out as much, but she will pretty much own that. So, so she did that. It's my turn. 
I can't build anymore. I can't buy anymore. Either I pass and um, you know just take two bucks, which is painful. You never want to do that. Or it's time to score, which means, folks, it's time to score. So I look over here at all of... I'm the green player. Jen's the blue player. And um, I pick one of these little buckets to take one of my visitors from, and I immediately get a bonus. Three points, five coins, a decoration of any type, or a golden, which is wild, statue for um, in-game scoring. And, you know, and for statue scoring. So, I think I'm broke. I want some cash money. So, I'm going to come over here. And that means uh, this visit that I have uh, brought out to show off also brought some cash into my hand. A little infusion of capital. Alrighty. So, and by the way, folks, uh, you'll notice it, it looks uh, copper here, whereas it looks kind of uh, you know more tannish here. That's because again, I'm using the original first edition of Palaces of Carrara. There's some you know discrepancies. Don't worry about that in the final version. The number five is shown right up there. Don't worry. I took my five coins, uh, not my three points, my free decoration, or my three free statue. Okay, so um, I made some money, and now what do I want to do? I. Ooh, no. Okay. I cannot have them visiting the cities because I have not built three or two buildings in any city. If I had built this biblioteca over here, which I could have done with the white, it would have been kind of a downgrade. I could have them visit Pisa and that would have given me five, six times um, three. That would have been 18 bucks I could have made off of it if I had, you know, uh, not diversified so much. But as it is, this is kind of painful. I think... I am going to... If I do this, I can act... This is activate all of my country estates. Let's look a little bit more closely. Not at what we can buy, but what we can visit. So, if I come down here, all of my country estates, all the orange ones, which are these, it's basically their total value times one. If I come over here and visit all my greens, so I only have one country estate, it's all their value times one again. So it's when you're visiting these, you completely ignore the normal payouts you would get from this from them. And so I will get four or five, um, so I will get 10 bucks if I do this. And then it's done. I can never do it again. And this is why this is kind of painful because uh, I didn't really mention this, but there are upgrades over here. And there are things we can do to get these upgrades. And if we get these upgrades, we increase the payout of the cities or of these visits. If I could have increased this payout first, then when I visit here, I would get three times the value of all of my combined um, urban estates. And But I haven't done that. Now, you might be saying, well, how would you have done that? How do you get these upgrades to either upgrade the payout of the city or these particular things? You build monuments. As part of setup, there were nine tiles placed randomly. Oh, by the way, a new tile should have come out here. All right. There were nine tiles placed out randomly. And there are six more, one of each type. They are very expensive. They cost eight cubes. Um, but uh, when you do pay these, they'll, they'll pay out big. You know, eight times two, that's 16 points. Eight times three, that's uh, 24 bucks. That's pretty nice. Plus, also, whenever you build one of these, you immediately get to take any one of these bonuses of your choice and install them to increase your payout later. And now the nice thing, you might say, well, geez, eight cubes, that's tough. How do you ever get enough? Well, you can either get the eight cubes of a matching color to build this villa, or you can upgrade an existing building by paying the difference. I could say, well, you already put five into this. For only three more cubes, I could turn that biblioteca into a lovely villa, and then I would get the bonus if I had three cubes. But I ran myself ramp or dry. And not only that, I, you cannot change the fundamental. But I could, there is a biblioteca, so I could have upgraded my existing biblioteca to a really awesome one, but it would cost me seven because this is a cheap biblioteca. Or this one, if I had three more cubes, I could do that and get a much bigger payday, and I could upgrade this. But to do it, I would need three cubes. Um, and I don't have this five bucks yet. So I haven't timed things well. Before I did my first, I would have liked to have done this so I could have gotten the big payday. So then I got to ask myself, well, do I do that? I can't just have them visit a city because no city has two. If I had built this over here though, that might've been the smart thing to do. You know what folks, uh, forgive me a little bit. If I just say, I'm going to retcon this a little bit. 
uh, and say, when I built this first biblioteca I, with all those white cubes, I built them in Pisa because I want to act like I had some semblance of a plan here because this would have been smarter because upon inviting these, where did my score go? These royals out who gave me five, I say, hey, don't activate any of these so I can still do these later. Go visit Pisa where I have two buildings. Be very, very impressed by my size one um, plus uh, my size five. So that's six times three. How about I just get 18 right there? 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. And now I have more money than I started the game with. And the important thing is, nobody else. Jen would have loved uh, for the folks to come and see her, to visit Pisa on her behalf. Because she's got a decoration. This is really a three. And she's got, I mean, she's got all that. But it can't because it's a worker placement spot. It is blocked forever now. Now, Jen can still have them visit Pisa by saying, hey, visit all of the orange things. Um, although it won't be the times three. Uh, so she'll have to at some point say, hey, visit all my palacios, because that's all Jen's built. When she says, visit my palacios, she is going to get um, three times three, that's six, and then six times one. So that's going to be nice, but Pisa is gone. Ah, that was... Uh, so, uh, like I said, that's why that would have been smarter to grab that while the grabbing is good before anybody else could have gotten it from me. So, I did that. I've done a visit. No, that's not all, folks. I got that five bucks. When you prompt a visit, you also grab this little reminder. And what this is saying is, uh, this is actually not a reminder to you. This is a reminder to everybody else that you ha triggered a scoring action. And when it comes back to my turn, I'll put this back. This is a timer for all the other players. And what this means is, on their turn, if they don't score um, right now out of this zone that I have activated, if they don't do it right now, their markers will move. Because, you know, if I'm playing more players, you know, they're, if I'm playing a four-player game, there is a marker here for every player. Everybody knows on their turn, if they don't score, their markers will come down here to the reject zone. And they will forever lose that opportunity to make that bonus five bucks. So I have started a countdown for Jen. If she doesn't score now, she's basically throwing five points away. And then when it comes back to my turn, I'll put this here. And that is terrible news for Jen. That puts the real screws to her because her plan was to spend another blue, build another level one over here so that she could trigger scoring in Larici and, you know, once she had three buildings. Kind of the same thing I did with Pisa over here. But the problem is, if she builds right now, or buys more stuff, then she will miss out on that. So, is she going to throw five bucks away? Or is she going to do a less than ideal scoring? Will she score... Lur no, she can't score Larici because she doesn't have three buildings. She can't score Pisa. Well, I, even if she did have building, she can't because I've already taken that from her. So she would have to score one of these things down here. And I don't know that she's really excited about doing that right now. Arr! So... She could go on ahead and score. I mean, she has three Palazzos. That's not bad. Six off of this one. Six off. So she'll make 12 bucks. But she really wanted to get these decorated first. So that becomes a, a, a six and a two. Although that's really just one more buck off of each of them. But she also... Ah, she also wanted to get, you know, the upgrade. Well, I mean, she can still do that later. I mean, if she, if she takes this right now to get the five bucks, what is she going to score? She can't score the cities. So... She does not want to score either of these because she wants to get an upgrade. But heck, if she's going to score, um, well, I mean, actually, she could still get this to double the value of Larici later on. She could still do that. So, ah, uh, that is tough. Does she throw five bucks away to be more efficient later and potentially get a bigger payday? She'll still be able to use this. It's just that it'll come down here and it won't be associated with getting five bucks. Man, as painful as this, I don't think she's going to do it. So she is going to pass on getting those five bucks. And she will continue on her merry way. Continue with her original plan of spending one blue to build in the purple town. And what does she want? She'd like to get another palace. The only, But this one's very expensive. Or, well, needs four building materials. She'll try and get that later. Um, so I think... She will get a, uh, a port time. All right, there we go. So there we go. And I'm having just to slide her board down a little bit to make room for all the buildings she's building over here. Okay, so that was Jen's turn. Very painful. And now back to me. Okay, so I've reset that. And uh, now I've got some cash money. I think I'm going to go shopping again. Woo! Okay, and let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
8, 9, 10, 11. All right, so we got some new stuff. Nothing. Nope, uh, this purple is free. That is the only free thing, right? Yep. So uh, what am I going to do? And I've got enough cash that I could clear an area out to get another... Uh, let's see, I could get a flag or a bibliotype, a book. I want to clear this area out. I'm sure I can do it, right? I'm, just, I'm flush with cash. Let's do it. Let's come shopping over here. That was free. This costs two. This is expensive. Plus five is seven, eight, nine, ten. That was spendy. But for my troubles, I just got a free book to decorate my little uh, level one. Now it's a level two. So, um, and it's too late. I've already scored pizza. But remember, someday I'll score all my bibliotecas. And I just made three more bucks off of that. Um, which was good because that was expensive to buy all that. All right. So anyway, so that's it. I'm starting to build up again for my next big construction project. And then we come back to Jen. Um, oh, and a new tile came out and it was another level one. Okay. Uh, Costello. Jen could keep doing this. I mean, she's still got two more. Although, man, spending a single yellow to build over here, that's crazy. And, I mean, she's just... Although, she could spend two and build a level two building over here. That's crazy, too. Particularly because they're not even palazzos. Although, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Things just got a little cheaper, right? If Jen buys, she could get a second red now. Because I just rotate the wheel. I think Jen's going to buy. She's going to rotate the wheel. And that's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 8, 9, 10, 11. All righty. Nothing's free over here, but, um, right, nothing's free anywhere. No, these purples are free. <gasps> Those purples are free. Oh. Oh, my. She wouldn't be able to afford these. So Jen could come over here with her one coin and get one red. Then she's got two red, so she could build a level two in Luca. Or she could get these two purples, and it'd be crazy, but she could build a level four in Larici, her next palace. I think that's what Jen's going to do. Jen is going to take both these. She doesn't get a bonus because she didn't empty that area out. Um, and that didn't even cost her anything. Okay, so that's it for her. Back to me. All right, I'm going to buy some more stuff. And uh, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There we go. Okay, and what am I going to buy? Knowing, again, that I can get some freebies because I could clear... Oh, wow, look at all this stuff down here now. This red is free. Yeah, let's do it. Let's clear this area out. Especially because, wait, but I don't need flags. And I don't have a place to put another purple. I need a blue building to put this. Uh, and I don't have any blue. Although, remember, I can convert purples into blues. Or, I mean, I, but again, I could use greens in the blue town to get this blue statue installed. Ah. All right, so do I go for the super cheap stuff? If I don't, Jen will probably do it. I mean, because look at this. I mean, the white marble building in the best city for only two? I can't turn that down. So, okay, this red was free. So now I've got two red. And this costs three bucks. So one, two, three. And just like that, I've gone through, I think, over half of my money. Okay, so, cool. And it's Jen's turn again. So if Jen were to rotate, these would become two. She still wouldn't have enough money for it. So I think Jen's going to build. It's going to be crazy. She's throwing everything, all purple, into a palace. Her fourth building in Larici. So that when she eventually activates Larici, she will activate all of these. All right, so that was it for her. Back to me. And now, here's the thing. Jen was playing very... No, no, no. I was... All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine, it's fine, fine. So, I mean, if I could, I would sweep in right now and try to build in Larici and deny her all that. But remember, I only have one building here. I need three buildings, so it's not like I could stop her. So I'm just going to keep on building. And uh, before I do that, I'm going to keep on buying because I've got the cash. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Ah, this is why we always like... These were free last round. That's why I always like standing them up as a reminder of what is free and what is not. All right, so nothing else is free yet. So, do I go there? Do I get myself two yellows? I mean, I'm not as excited about building in peas anymore because I've already scored it up there. Hmm. But two yellows is a white. Then I've got three whites, and I could start building in Lenovo. I could build... Oh, and by the way, another building came out. And it's a level five. Okay. So, and you notice, we're running out of buildings. Once all of these are empty, plus one player has had all of their visits, that's what triggers the end of the game. 
So what do I want to buy? Do I get four cubes for, or, you know, four for, let's see, that's one, for, four for five or two for four? I think four for five is the way to go. So let's come over here. These were free. This costs one, this costs four. And I just cleared an area out again. So do I get a statue or do I get a shield? I think I'm going to take a beautiful shield and decorate my villa. Lovely. This is now a level three when I eventually activate it. Okay, so that was it for me. It is Jen's turn. And Jen says, it's time to score, baby. She's still got her one buck. She could go buy something, but I think she is ready to go. And does she go on ahead and get that five? Does she get another decoration? So she could decorate one of these things, although that will only be one additional as opposed to the five. Does she get three points? Or does she get a statue? Nope, she takes the five. All right, so now if I don't score this turn, I'm throwing five bucks away. But anyway, Jen just got five. And yeah, she's building it. Come visit us on the Ricci, where, although, gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. The thing is, she would like to upgrade Larici first, so that Larici would pay out double. Oh, does she? It's crazy. You know what? You know what made more sense, folks? Rather than buy this other palazzo when she had four cubes, rather than do that, she when she had four cubes, she could and she and one of them was yellow, which was incredibly wasteful. Folks, I know this drives you nuts. Sorry, I should have been thinking about this a bit more. Instead of Jen spending four cubes, one of them being yellow, to build that palace over here, Jen spent three cubes to upgrade her existing palace to Super Palace. That is what she did. And the other one goes basically away. So she had done that last turn because that meant she also got an upgrade of her choosing. She upgraded Larici last turn. And then this turn, she scores uh, Larici. And gets that five that she wanted. And now she will get eight, nine, ten times two is twenty. That's the way you do it. That's the way you palace the Carrara. All right. So Jen just made twenty bucks off of that with that upgrade. That was the smarter way to go, definitely. And she's still got one brick left over, um, you know, after she starts buying. Okay, so and having done that, she has now triggered the timer for me. If I don't score right now, I'm throwing away five bucks like she did. And I don't want to do that. I wish. And I had all the time in the world to get an upgrade. Oh, what to do. I spent too much time shopping, not enough time building. And I knew Jen had a build coming, so I should have been paying attention to that. I should have been prepared. Uh, you know, this uh, this potential of losing out on stuff. I don't want to lose out on stuff, so I am going to go score something. Because uh, I don't want to throw away five bucks like she did. So here's uh, one, two, three, four, five. But what am I going to score? Uh, I can't score any cities, so I could score all of my urbans, which would be four uh, plus, it would be ten bucks. That's not bad. Or I could get two points off of all of my, uh, you know, rural. I, might, I could do my bibliotecas, which is, where is it? It's right there, you know, just off screen, which means I would score five, six, seven times three. So I'd make, t yeah, let's do it. Let's do the biblioteca. So I get five for following in Jen's footsteps. I'm going to score my biblios. And uh, so we activate this. This one is four times two is eight. So I have eight bucks. And then I've got uh, five, six, seven. Uh, seven times three is 21 plus eight means I just made 29 bucks. Nice. 10, 20, 30. So yeah, I did not want to miss out on that. I would have liked to have built this up even bigger. I'd like to get some more decorations, but still, the timing was pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. So now I got tons of money and tons of resources. Okay, and uh, right, so that was it. Jen triggered a scoring. I, on my turn, scored, and now we are back to Jen. And uh, there's no more free money for, for having the nobles coming out, and Jen now needs to start building again. And what is she going to do? I'm not quite sure, folks, but I think I'm going to stop right there because that should give you a pretty good idea of the basics of Palaces of Carrara 2nd Edition. And if you'd like to hear some final thoughts, you can hit that I in the top right corner screen or follow the show notes in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.